Hey everyone, so today we're going to do a video that was voted on over in our Facebook group and that is how to edit your printables. So here on the screen is a printable that we sell in our shop and I get a lot of questions all the time like if I would create custom inserts for customers and unfortunately due to our workload we aren't able to do that at this time. However, if you want to purchase any of our printable inserts over in our Etsy shop then I wanted to show you a way that you can customize them. You can't really do anything to the layout, but you can add or change the text, which might be helpful for you. So like I said, this is one of the printables that's in our shop, and this is how the layout is. I wanted to show you personal size because it does have a two-page layout here, and if you edit some of the text or add text, it won't affect the layout of the pages. So when you save it, it will still print out well with these crop marks intact and everything. So all our printables are in PDF. I opened this file in Acrobat Pro DC and this is an app that you have to pay for. It comes as part of my package because I have like the Adobe Suite. I don't remember all that it comes with but I think you can subscribe to Adobe Pro DC for $12 or $14 a month and they do have a free trial so if you want to try it out. So I wanted to to show you how to edit on here. So like I said, I'm here in Acrobat Pro DC and I just come down here to the right hand side and it has all these different things you can do. So here it says edit PDF. So if I just click that, then you can see all the text is outlined with this like dotted box and you can click into there and here I'm gonna do select all and you can change this to let's say TPS, the planner spot revenue or whatever your title is. And because now the alignment's gonna be off, I'll just go over here and align it to the right. And then here on this particular insert, so let's say you wanted to type in your specific revenue streams. So I'll just do mine for example. So you can do this where you add text you click right here, then you click here, and then I could put like main. And then to get rid of this box, I'll just click right back out of there. And then if you hover over this box, you see this little like cross arrows, whatever it's called. You can align it to the other text next to it. But if you can see the difference here, let me kind of zoom in a bit. Sorry about that. If you see the difference here, you can tell that the text is a little bit different. So the way I prefer to do it is to hover over this text, copy it, so command C, and then click out of it, and then do command V to paste it, and it pastes right over it. So then you just hover over this until you see those cross arrows again. Click and hold, and then drag it over. And then you can see that the text size and style is the same. You can see these green lines, so it'll help you align. And then I would just leave that selected. Command C, Command V to paste. Hover over it again to see, there you go. Sometimes it's tricky to find it and then drag it over again and align it with the other ones. And then you could change these to whatever you want. So I would change mine to main, to Etsy, and so on. So if you can see here, let me make this smaller so you can see all the pages. This is one side of the page. So you can tell here by my little like whatever you call this watermark or whatever where it says the planner spot that the hole punches would be on this side so this is the front side of the page but if you go here you can see the watermarks go on the right side of the page where the hole punches would be so this would be the back side so you can change this side to match this or you can make it something totally different like let's say Salmon Co. <laughs> That's a throwback to last year. So let's say I wanted to put that because I don't need two sheets of TPS revenue maybe. So I can make this Salmon Co. revenue or whatever you want to make it. Just make sure that when you go down to the second page this side is going to correlate with this TPS and this side is going to correlate with the Salmon Co. So just 
don't get confused about that and keep that in mind. So yeah, if you wanted this both to be the same thing, you would just have to copy and paste again over on the side manually. So yeah, that's a simple way how to edit your printables. I do have to say that you should probably ask for permission from the shop that you buy your printables from to make sure that's okay. I've done that in the past where I just wanted to change like the heading or some of this information here and I just asked permission and they were totally fine with it. I am totally fine with that with our shop. I think all shop owners would probably just ask that you can go ahead and do that, but it's for personal use only. Of course, you wouldn't edit it and sell it as your own designs. I would say that's the only thing to be careful of. So this is for the paid version using Acrobat Pro DC, but I know for me as a business, it's worth it to have this application because I use it a lot for work. But if you're just using it for personal, you might not want to pay 12 or $14 a month. So I did some quick research on LifeWire and they have a number of different PDF editors that they recommend, but I really like the first one. I checked it out and played around with it a little bit. It's called Sedja, Sedja or something like that, however you, <laughs> however you pronounce that. Um, they did a little like summary of what they like and what they don't like. So just quickly, I guess this is like totally free. It's web based, so you could do it right on the web. And when I used it, it was really easy. And I'm going to show you in a second. But they also have some other features like you could add hyperlinks, a signature tool, inserting blank pages, removing pages, inserting images and shapes. Something to really keep note of with this particular editor is it is free, but you could only do three PDFs per hour. So I guess if within an hour, it won't let you do more than three PDFs. I guess you have to wait till the next hour, which doesn't seem too bad to me. Also, it's limited to documents with fewer than 200 pages. I think that's totally fine for our uses. And then it doesn't edit files larger than 50 megabytes, which again, I think is fine for our use. So here's the website. And all you have to do is upload your PDF by clicking this button and then edit it inside. So upload PDF. So I'm going to choose the same document I just showed you a second ago. Open. And so it opens, see how quick that is? I really like how smooth it goes from uploading to saving your changes and downloading. So here is that same insert. And then all you have to do is click on whatever box, select all, and then do the same thing, TPS revenue. So on this app, I don't see any alignment kind of tool. So you just have to hover over the text and then there's those cross arrows again. Just drag it over to where you want it. So I'm just gonna drag it to the right here. You can edit this text or, so I would say one thing that the Adobe Pro DC app has over this one is that I don't see a way to just like select this text and copy it over here so you have the same size and you know so it looks all uniform so you just have to click here where it says text and then click where you want the text to be and so say I put main I mean it looks pretty similar but let's see I usually go to seven but you can see a little bit of difference there. So I would say that's the only thing. And if I was really using this app to fill in my headers, I would probably delete this and then just enter my own text date so it'll match better. So if you go here, you can center it in here, hover over this, center it, and then oh, I think this probably has a different size. Select all font size, yeah. So seven or whatever you want. It's not as smooth because as you can see here, I'm trying to select, you know, the text and it's not selecting as smoothly. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Like I said, I just kind of played around with this a little bit so I can offer you guys a free solution. 
but I had to click around a few times to get this cross arrows. I think if you just play around with it a little bit, it, you'll eventually get it. But if you really want to have a free version, I mean, I wouldn't mind messing around with this so I don't have to pay the subscription service of the Acrobat DC. So yeah, I mean, it's not as smooth, but definitely worth the try, I think, if you want to edit your printable inserts. So again, this is um, Sedja. And so here is the free version, forever free to use, no sign up required. I didn't even have to sign up, put my email or anything. I just went onto the website and started using it, but they do have these limits as I showed you guys before. They do have some paid versions, so I guess you could pay $5 for a weekly pass, one-time payment. So I guess with this one, you don't have that like three PDFs per hour kind of limit or anything like that, but it's just for one week. Or if you want ongoing, you could pay $7.50 per month. By the way, this is not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing the information with you guys, but it looks like the highest package. I think with this, you get access to the desktop version to download, but I think the free version would work just fine for our kind of use oh yeah so let me just show you guys once you're done editing then you go to apply changes and that was super quick just download it and then open it so this alignment looks a little bit off but I think if you go back and play with it you could probably get that straightened out but all the crop marks are intact the back side is intact because I tried some other ones and when I saved it, some things got kind of like messed up a little bit. So what I liked about this particular app is everything stayed intact here. You might just have to play with the alignment here. Yeah, but I would say if you already have Adobe DC or if you don't mind paying a monthly subscription for it or something, I definitely think this one's worth it. It's a lot easier to use. It's directly on your desktop, so there's no security issues. With the web-based one, it's online, so I don't know how strong the security is. Not that any of this is like confidential information or anything like that, but I like using Adobe Pro DC for when I'm trying to edit PDFs. So yeah, I hope that was helpful for you guys in some way. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or if you have any other tips, if you have any other resources for free or very low cost PDF editing, please share with us and we can all benefit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.